It's a race against time in Sao Paulo to get the building work finished. The moment Brazil won the right to host football's World Cup, it's been a tale of construction woes and street protests. But as excited fans count the hours before kickoff, Brazilian president Dilma Rousseff has been defending the cost of staging the tournament. There are people who claim the resources for the Cup should have been directed to health care and education. I hear and respect those opinions, but I don't agree with them. It's a false dilemma. From 2010, the amount invested in education and health care in Brazil has been 212 times more than the amount invested in the stadiums. In Rio de Janeiro, yet another protest is being held. This time, it's an NGO which claims the use of public funds is immoral. Billions worth of taxes have been spent on this World Cup in a country where children don't have access to quality education, where people are dying because of a lack of treatment in public hospitals. The Brazilian people have been hurt, damaged in their inner beings, and that's why many aren't involved in the Cup. The tournament, which gets started on Thursday, is the most expensive ever. President Rousseff, who's seeking a second term in October, is hoping Brazilian success on the pitch will finally win the country over.